This lecture is titled KISS Principle. Have you heard the statement of Albert Einstein? Make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. This statement is the essence of the KISS Principle. KISS means keep it simple, stupid. The more a system complex, the more possibility that it can break. Therefore, simplicity should be a key goal in design and unnecessary complexity should be avoided. While Yagni, you ain't gonna need it, principle is about removing unnecessary code, KISS is all about how to make the implementation as simple as we can. So the statement of this principle is, a simple solution is better than a complex one, even if the solution looks stupid. The principle is deeply philosophical. Indeed, just try to come up with a true definition of the simplicity. How to define and measure the simplicity? The straightforward definition would be the following. Simplicity is the state of quality of being simple. Don't you find such a definition not very helpful? I do. What does it mean to be simple? Seemingly, that the only way we can treat the simplicity in software is that something which is easy to understand or explain can be considered simple in contrast to something complicated. It's very hard and sometimes even impossible to come up with a simple solution that solves a difficult problem. The complexity of implementation tends to grow along with growing number of requirements. So, the feeling of simplicity is relative. The main technique we use to struggle with complexity is the decomposition. And by the way, decomposition is the aspect which is strongly related to almost all the solid principles. Adhering to the SRP, we apply decomposition to the coupled objects or modules. Conforming with the OCP, not always, but often, involves decomposition as well, especially when we need to create a new type to isolate a source of change. Interface segregation principle is all about decomposition. Dependency inversion is all about making the system well decomposed. The Lisk of substitution principle is mostly about how to avoid bad decomposition. So, the solid principles are aimed at achieving solutions as simple as possible. On the other hand, abusing solid principles always lead to unnecessary complexity. This is the true manifestation of the unity and struggle of opposites law. It resembles me a herb called valerian. Valerian has sedative qualities. So when you take valerian as a medicine, you expect to become calmer. At the same time, it's a very well-known fact that if you take too much of valerian, it will cause the feeling of anxiety. The effect will be the opposite. The problem of simplicity relativeness leads us to two related notions, accidental and essential complexity. I said earlier that complex systems are actually complex and you can do nothing about that you can't implement the software of a bank system and expect that it will be as simple as a solitaire. The complexity imposed by the domain itself is called the essential complexity. The essential complexity cannot be reduced by any means. The only way how essential complexity reduces is when the domain rules change in the direction of simplicity. Unfortunately, you barely can enforce such changes. Accidental complexity is the complexity of our solutions which are intended to solve the problems of the domain. We are responsible for the accidental complexity as the developers. The design of the software optimizations are all related to accidental complexity. KISS is fundamental philosophical principle, so we can mark out the following rules which of course are not dogmas. Prefer composition over inheritance where possible. Stick with if-else and switch case statements until you see that you need to introduce polymorphism. Avoid preemptive optimizations. In 90% of cases, slower solutions work enough fast. 
The exceptions from this rule is when you know for sure that you are working on a very complex software, one of the main aspects of which is the performance, when the performance is absolutely critical. Smaller classes and smaller methods are better. The best method is a one-liner. Google for the technique which is called extract till you drop, which is about methods refactoring. Don't rush to extract utility classes for private methods which are used from a single place within a class. Leave it as it is until the other parts of code will require that method as well. Don't write parameterized general methods. Prefer methods which solve a specific problem. Divide and conquer. This is a principle aimed at solving complex problems. Divide a problem into smaller problems and solve them, one by one. Strive to avoid comments. Comments mean that you failed trying to express the intent in programming language. Write prototypes and don't be afraid to throw them away. Keep the number of entities which solve a problem roughly from 5 to 7. Human's mind is not good at keeping in memory more than 7 things simultaneously. Constantly work on simplifying your code base. Uncle Bob Martin even suggests a rule that before making a check-in, you should always ask yourself whether the code base is better than it was before. You checked it in. This is the rule of a Boy Scout. Optimizations is the main excuse for writing complex code, but strive to keep the amount of such code closer to 5 or 10 percent of the code base, not more. Optimize only if you are absolutely sure that there is a performance problem. Don't measure the performance by your eye. Rely on special tools for tracking the performance. Remember that there are two values of software. The first one is that software should work correctly. And the second one is that the software should be designed well. And the second one is much harder to achieve than the first one in most cases. The next principle we are going to talk about is the Yagni principle, which stands for you ain't gonna need it. This principle is similar to the KISS principle. In the next lecture, you'll find out what is the difference between these two principles and what Yagni means on practice.